I have a WRX, which is a very fun and cool car, but there is one problem. The ship knob it came with is pretty boring. I wanted to fix that, so I designed and 3D printed my own. I designed it a long time ago, and it was the first thing I tried printing when I got my printer. But being a complete noob and trying to print with T-Glaze, which isn't the easiest material to print with, I couldn't get it quite right, so I put the project on hold until I had more experience 3D printing. So after a few months, I decided to try again. I printed it at 240 degrees Celsius, the print bread prepped the hairspray and set at 40 degrees Celsius. I printed with a 100 micron layer height to get a nice smooth finish. After everything is done printing, you need to assemble it. Here is everything you need. An M12 by 1.25 nut for the shift knob, 6 M3 by 20 millimeter bolts, and 6 M3 nuts. I already inserted the black WRX letters into the top half of the knob. So now, I just need to insert the M12 nut into the bottom half. After that, it is time to place both halves together. I lined them up and inserted a nut into one of the hex shaped sockets on the bottom half to keep it in place while tightening. After that, I grabbed the bolt and put it through the hole on the top half that lines up with the nut. With a 2.5mm Allen key, I started tightening it, but only to about 90% of the way. After I got the first one, I repeated this for the next 5 bolts, tightening them in a star pattern to make sure it was nice and level. When they were all installed, I went back and finished tightening them all the way. And now, I have a cool custom shift knob. Time to install it. First, I needed to remove the stock shifter. I started by rocking the leather boot back and forth to lower it. Then, I unscrewed the stock knob. Once it was removed, I can install the new shift knob. I put it on and screwed it down all the way. After that, I replaced the leather boot. Now I have a cool custom shift knob that looks and feels great. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and click subscribe for more of my videos. Feel free to leave a comment below. Until next time, thanks for watching.